I get a ton of emails from viewers who have very specific questions about if they can get pregnant from pre-cum. And to be honest with you, I just don't have time to reply to all of the emails that I get. So I'm making this quick video so that I can cover the most frequent questions asked. Hi, I'm Thomas and I'm a mental health professional. I've posted two videos about if you can get pregnant from pre-cum, and I get a ton of questions about them. I get them from people of all different ages and genders and sexes, and honestly, a lot of them are really similar. So I wanted to make this video just to give you some insight into what some of these big questions are, because as much as I want to help all of you, I just don't have that much time. Before I go any further, there's one thing that I want to point out, and that is that there is a difference between pre-cum and semen. If you don't know that, go back and watch one of the other videos first, and then come back here and watch this one, or you're probably not going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. People generally write to me when they're experiencing high anxiety. They think they're pregnant, or they're a boyfriend who thinks their girlfriend might be pregnant. And they always end the email with, am I pregnant? I can't tell you that. No matter how much information you give me, and people give me a lot, they tell me the dates they had sex, the time they had sex, if it was multiple times in a day, the last time they had their period. I All of that information, and I cannot tell you for sure if you are or are not pregnant. I mean, you could be emailing an OBGYN and they would also not be able to tell you. There are tests that have to be done. So unfortunately, when you email me and ask me that, I'm not gonna be able to give you a definitive answer. I get a ton of emails about peeing. People wanna know that if they pee or urinate after they have had sex, if that cleans the semen out of the system and they're good to go. The answer is no. And I'm not sure where this rumor came from, but the way that the male body is set up, where the bladder connects to the system, is actually closer to the opening of the penis than where semen is produced and mixed together. So you're just cleaning out that front part of the system but not the back part of the system. So there could still be semen in the back part of the system. So no, peeing after having sex does not clean out the system. And along the same lines as that, as far as I know, there is no specific data about how long semen lives in the male system. So I can't tell you that like, yeah, if you have sex and then eight hours later have sex again, if there could be pre-cum or if there could be semen left in that system that could get mixed with the pre-cum. What I would say is wait at least 24 hours, but you should just be using protection. No matter what you are doing, if semen does not enter the vagina, you cannot be pregnant. That is how it works. That is how pregnancy works. Semen has to go inside the vagina. So if someone were to come on your stomach or any part of your body that is not your vagina, you cannot get pregnant from that. If someone is fingering you and there is no semen on their finger, you cannot get pregnant. Oral sex cannot get pregnant. Anal sex cannot get pregnant. I get a lot of questions about this. Semen has to go into the vagina. That's the only way. And lastly, if you do not want to get pregnant, you need to use some sort of birth control. That could be a condom, that could be medication, whatever. But do not go down this path where you're not using these and then your anxiety goes up until you get your period again and then the anxiety goes back down. It is not worth it. There are options if you do get pregnant, like plan B or abortion, depending on where you are, but I get a lot of emails from people outside of the United States where those aren't even options. There are a ton of things that you can do where you cannot get pregnant. You can have oral sex. You can uh, masturbate together. Any of those things. And if you are dating someone who says that they are going to dump you if you do not have vaginal sex with them, then you need to dump that person. There are plenty of things that you can do with an intimate partner that do not have to include penile and vaginal sex. And if someone's pressuring you to do it and you don't want to, don't do it just to make them happy. You could end up with a baby and that's going to probably make you very unhappy if you haven't planned for it. Okay guys. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I do not want you to miss out. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com. 
And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I do Tuesday Night Therapy Talk Live, where I cover a different topic in psychology and talk with people across the country about anxiety, depression, sex, relationships, sex toys, PTSD, all that stuff. So make sure to follow me there so you don't miss out on any of that. And while you're waiting, check out some of these other videos that I've worked really hard on.